Welcome back guys. First I want to give a big shout out to all the community members that have joined and subscribed. We crossed the 1k barrier. Woo, woo. And now we can get cracking even further. First I want to acknowledge the community poll I posted a few days back on how many of you managed to get your hands on a flipper. So I could see a whopping 71% of you didn't even manage to get one which is unfortunate a lot of the comments i saw was mostly from the us subs so fresh off the press today flipper literally just announced on reading this that 50 percent of their flipper orders have been shipped tracking codes have been emailed to all the subs that have managed to purchase one through Joom or any other outlets their warehouse promises to ship the rest of the orders till the end of the week so it looks like they're on full production mode the ace has a great practical lined up for you today so strap in and enjoy let's go <laughs> stage one enable mask mode stage two throw the flipper in a cool way and hope it don't break stage three sit back and observe and make sure it ain't broken Stage 4, insert micro SD. Alright, stage 5, flipper is chill, so now let's head over to desktop. Right guys, now we're back at the desktop and we can navigate to flipper 0.1 slash update. Here we can install the firmware instance that's required to install flipper onto the desktop. So let's do that. Now we go through the prompt sequence to tell you where you want to save it and how much memory is going to take fast as fuck boy once that's successfully installed we can see the flipper zero documentation link via the installer which will come in handy for later and we hit finish and complete the installation once the installation is complete we get the gui version of flipper on the desktop which comes in handy when we need to update the firmware which is next firmware update now like previously mentioned the firmware sits within the desktop as a interactive gui and we can quickly just navigate through the firmware options we have as this is a fresh instance on my new flipper zero now instantly we can see that the database is missing this is because like previously mentioned the sd card is where the database resides within flipper zero here it's a brand new instance so nothing has been written to the database so we need to update that as you can see, the firmware has been shipped out with 0.643. This is a very old firmware, build date of August 16th, 2022. The SD card memory is 100% full because it's a brand new install. But now we're going to update that and let's see what happens. Fast as fuck, boy. Now we're back on a new version of Flipper Zero with the firmware installation just recently completed. It took about 15 minutes to fully install the new version from the factory settings it we've had before. The firmware version is now on 0.701 of the 1st of November release. Now, as you can see, the SD card has still has 99% free uh, disk space, but before it was completely missing. The database is installed, like previously mentioned, and that's the most critical aspect. And we can see Flipper on the right side with his DEX out, unleashing the Flipper. Now, stage one was obviously getting the Flipper unpacked, getting the SD card in, getting a grips with the firmware, getting that installed and put in the factory set stable firmware in. Now that's out the way, we need to establish what it is to unleash the Flipper Zero. And what I mean by that is reaching out to the open source community and seeing what the development community has put to the board. So our first pit stop is to the dark flippers. Now the dark flippers is a git repo sitting on github and big shout out to xmasterx and engine one they have developed two repositories as we can see here we've got the unleash firmware and we have the flipper android app these obviously go in tandem to give you the best performance for your new flipper firmware so the pinned and of course the main distro they have is the unleashed firmware now the unleashed firmware is the developer's goal to 
release flip art to its full potential without limitation. I am a huge fan of this because it helps the community implement all the sub gigahertz dynamics involved with all the protocol stacks. Getting the first legal disclaimer out the way, the software is for experimental purpose only and is not meant for any illegal activities or purposes. You have been warned. Since this is a firmware upgrade, you're actually getting a lot of changes under the hood and the main and primary one is the regional restrictions being removed. If you try to do this without the firmware, you will see you are very limited in terms of what you can do with the flipper out of the box. With the firmware, it gives you a plethora of tool sets and plugins to unleash it as it were we have sub gigahertz frequency ranges are being extended which gives you more range in that frequency we have many rolling cold protocols now have the ability to save and send capture signals we got sub gigahertz static codes through brute force plugins and i'll get to that in a minute recompiled infrared tv universal remote for all buttons this is fantastic and i've tried this and it even works on a brute force i'll demo that much later we've got universal remotes for projectors fans ac sound bars we've got a new layout for the bad usb customizable flipper name before you can even change the flips name now you can change it yourself you get uh, a new animations and backgrounds you get current modified new gigahertz protocol list here's all of the new list and this is ever growing you get some new community applications and there's a whole list here you get some new games doom tetris i've demoed some of these in my shorts as you may have seen you get other changes to the bad usb some changes to the raw detection feature this is fantastic big up perspective dev on this one because i've used this even recently so the next question is how to install the firmware there's two ways to do this i'll give you the easiest way that i've found so we click on the how to install i'm going to leave a link in the bio anyway but follow along so we use it now with qflipper version 120 plus from here we can download QFlipper which will allow the .tgz installation profile within QFlipper itself. This is mandatory especially for the firmware as it allows the tar decompression of the GZ extensions. So we click on that link and we'll install the exe file. And then that's done. Once that's installed the firmware will get installed again then make sure the SD card was already installed from stage one we have that already done next we download the latest flipper ZF7 update this can be found under the assets so if we go to release page and we go under here to assets we shall go to or either or we can add the zip file or the tgz file now once we have that we can open the q flipper and then we can go to install from file we can get the the unleashed version and now Firmware from will update to the unleashed version. Now we have the unleashed version of Flipper. Now we can see here if we expand the Flipper's interface and this is a direct reflection of what you're seeing on the physical device the mood is happy we can go back if you want so under the menu we have bad usb infrared nfc the gigahertz menu the clock 
some applications like I mentioned we got games here's all the games that we now have via that firmware we've got settings not bad now if we want to take this one step further we can implement another fork to the initial unleashed repo and that fork is called the rogue master fork some of you have seen the, the goku or dbz influence on the flipper screens that's coming from this rogue master fork and that's all thanks to the current developer who is of course a dragon Ball z fan and is rogue master himself now then this is acknowledged that this is a fork from the main unleashed x master so it's based on that with its own take on what's going on so the latest updates is there's a known issue in the chess game the last sync there was a sync issue and there was a clock animation on konami mode and apparently they fixed the rfid to be internally compiled for decreased access to time for keys so there's things to also be removed as well obviously this is an ongoing application within the community you can donate and support rogue master if you wish there's a cheat code here for games only mode which is up up down left right <laughs> on the clock got animation file we have another animation file another animation for eye buttons loads of just different animation looks like got a pikachu animation We got assets include NFC level 50. Assets include NFC Rick Roll Link. Got loads of bad USB changes and loads of plugins. And loads of games as we see blackjack chess doom dice roller uh, snake tanks video poker is loads of plugins here as well good stuff why not install it let's give it a chance you know what I mean and ultimately, if you don't like it, we'll just roll back to the last stable version of the firmware. Always take a backup between each firmware. So right now, let's take another backup of the Rogue Master release that we have. Let's just date this so we know when the last time it was updated. And let's back that up now. That was quick and that's been done. So now we've backed up, we can now go. We'll go for the latest release, we'll go for the zip file, download the zip file, we'll open that folder. All right, now what we want to do is head over to the SD card. We'll internally go into the SD card. Within the SD card, there's an update directory. We'll go in here and now we can see the other updates that we did install before. Now from that extracted uh, Rogue Master zip file that we obtained, we unzipped it. Now we want to drag that into the SD card directly from here. It's literally you can drag and drop in between the interfaces when we can upload that onto the SD card. Now that's done, we can expand into the flipper itself. Then we hit down and left 
go into the browser directory now we can go into updates now we can see the rogue master folder click into that we shall click into that and now we click on update and now we can hit run within the app and then we can hit install And now, as you can see, we have Goku Sun on the screen, which has been successful for the Rogue Master install. Whoop, whoop. So we hit next. Now we have some nice matrix background. Everyone loves that. And. Uh, the UI has changed, which is great. And we have a stoned mode and a Dragon Ball on the left corner. <laughs> so the modes have changed. So the moods have changed. So we have some different folders now. We've got vehicles. So, so we have vehicles for Tesla. So we have some pre-installed Tesla rolls. I'm sure we know what that involves. We have some miscellaneous. We have handicap. Not sure what that does yet. Handicap push door. We have a playlist, which is empty. Uniferf, which is also empty. Got bad USB, which is empty. Dolphin. I assume these are the background type of dolphins that we have. There's a Halloween one, which is empty. Got a music player, which is also empty. NFC. Sub playlist. Loads of empty folders. Some applications. Some games. Got more games than before. Sub Zero Remote, Sub Zero got Infrared. So we've got Universal Remotes, Learn a New Remote, Debug, got TV Remote Mode, got Projectors. GPIOs, you can set them manually, USB, Yacht Bridge, <laughs> got bad USB which I will be going into, we got applications, great happy with that so far field testing next we're gonna read my fob key to my block so we have this now we have the flipper gonna put that in read mode now we have detective pikachu scanning for a reader And now that has been scanned. Turning off a random TV. So. Now this is not the same TV at all. A different room, a different TV. And we're gonna experiment with actually sending another broadcast signal until we can brute force our way into the TV itself. Now it's almost decoded it. We're at 84%. And there we have it. Again, flipper two, random TV zero. So, my block of flats, Alakazam is 
Alakazam. Conclusion. Now I hoped you enjoyed the practical session and you followed along nicely to firstly upgrade to the Unleash firmware which was a great repo and unlocked further potential helping you implement and emulate all the Sub-Zero dynamic rolling code protocols to your own discretion. Next we looked at the DBZ Influence Rogue Master firmware which was a fork from the Unleashed and itself gave some new nuances to what was already in place. I have preferred this one all because it has the little anime and great animations for all the plugins. As for shipment and getting hold of a flipper, I do hope the US subs in particular get a hold of the flippers ASAP. Use the outlets that are put in the community page. Keep updated with the community page and interact. Obviously, the big news with the Discord. The Discord is coming. I'm just still building out the permission sets and the server. And we'll start handing out invites to particular sub members. Sneak peek into what's going to occur in the Discord. I will be putting all my scripts that I can't obviously just demo and show on YouTube. Within that, it's going to be a close net community of coders and devs. Everyone is, of course, welcome but it is going to be community orientated to unleash future potential for the flipper and get it going. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Again, like and subscribe, of course. Keep the community and love going for the channel. Any comments, leave them below and I'll try to answer them. And look out for more shorts and I'm sure a lot of you have been enjoying those too. Stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out.